This is Channel 2 News, coverage you can count on. We have to change ideas. We have to change approaches on how people look at other people. After months of protests and demonstrations calling for an interracial profiling by police, we sit down with an expert on the subject to get a little context. And that is our Channel 2 News Big Story at 530. Over the last few months, we've seen several police shootings that protesters have called racially motivated, racially charged. Good evening. I'm Kristen Remington. I'm Wendy DeMonte. Thanks for staying with us tonight. But experts are saying the issue of racial profiling in these cases and many others isn't so clear cut. Ariana Bennett interviewed a local professor on this subject for Face the State this week. All right, what did he have to say? Well, racial profiling is illegal in most states, and there is some debate over whether law enforcement officers actually do profile based on race. Now, Dr. Stephen Bale says, based on his research, racial profiling is happening, although he doesn't believe that recent events in the news are clear-cut examples of it. Now, I asked him, in the interest of public safety, if it's ever justified. I'm not going to say that it's never justified, but I'm saying that most of the time racial profiling is a bad idea because it doesn't work. Now, Bale has been studying political science, criminal justice, and race for years. He actually wrote his dissertation on racial profiling. He says most studies have shown that profiling based on race doesn't actually help catch more criminals than a race-blind approach. And he says changes do need to be made. Well, there's been a lot of new training methods that have been introduced at police academies throughout the country to try and make sure that we let officers understand that what the reason has to be and what the reason cannot be for making stops. If you'd like to watch the whole interview, tune in or set your DVR for Face the State this weekend. It's airing on Saturday at 4.30 a.m., 3 p.m. and 8 p.m. and again on Sunday at 2.30 and 6.30 a.m. and 4.30 p.m. Covering the story live, Ariana Bennett, Channel 2 News.